Hello, my name's Chip Thompson. I've recently been diagnosed with a rare disease where all my hair falls off my head and onto my face. And welcome to episode 13. <laughs> So seeing as we're now officially halfway through the year, give or take a week or three, uh, I thought it was about time that I looked back at the cinema's releases of 2012 and decided on my top five of the year so far. Number five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 21 Jump Street is at number 5, and it's purely because it surprised me at the cinema. Number 4. Chronicles at number 4. It's another film that surprised me when I went into the cinema to see it, and it's a great depiction of what it would be really like to be a teenager and get superpowers. Number 3. And at number 3, it's Cabin in the Woods. Uh, I know this is a movie cliche, but it's a film that split a lot of people, and I personally fell on the side that bloody loved it. Number two. At number two is Steve McQueen's Shame, a fantastic performance by Michael Fassbender, and although it's not the easiest film to watch, it is absolutely brilliant. Oh, your butt is like white chocolate milk to your sausage. And at number one. And unsurprisingly, the number one film of the year so far is The Avengers, because it's blatantly the best superhero film ever made, until The Dark Knight Rises comes out, and it's just a really enjoyable family film for the superhero fun. Puny Flogger! <laughs> <laughs> so those are my top five films of the year so far, and I have to admit, it's not a great list. It's a good list, but it's not great. I think looking back at 2011, there were so many good films. I mean, not just blockbusters, but British film as well, and smaller sort of independent stuff. And maybe it's just because I've missed a few films this year so far, but 2012 doesn't really seem to have the standard that 2011 set. Of course, there's been one or two films that I've missed, but in all honesty, I think the only film that could have really broken into the top five was The Raid. I missed it when it was on general release, it wasn't out for too long, but luckily there's an independent cinema in Canterbury that's showing it quite soon, so I'm going to go and see it then, and you never know, maybe that will break into the top five. But what about yourselves? What have been your top five films of the year so far? Make sure you leave me a comment in the box below, tell me how, how wrong I am with my choices, and uh, as long as you don't say Prometheus, I think we'll be okay. Be sure to like this video, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. I'm off to go and see The Amazing Spider-Man and probably not think it's as good as the two Sam Raimi films. Because Sam Raimi only made two Spider-Man films. He only made two Spider-Man. Sam Raimi only did two Spider-Man films. And a bidgey farewell with some awesome movie quotage.